Alright, this is Vegeta8259 again, and this is part one of my review of the Master Grade Delta Plus. And as is customary in most of my uh, more recent reviews, uh, this is what the kit is going to look like straight out of the box. I'm recording this first segment before doing any sort of painting at all on the kit. So at this point, all I've done is... Uh, go over the kit with sandpaper and that's it. Uh, for colors you're going to get a light gray for most of the outer armor. You're going to get a dark bluish color for uh, the torso, a little bit of the skirt armor, and uh, part of the shield which you'll see in a minute. You'll get a uh, medium gray for the inner frame and a few of these armor parts on the <coughs> lower torso. Uh, you get a few white parts here and there, the knees, thrusters on the sides of the legs, up here on the chest, and uh, let's see, you get a few clear parts that go in the head and the beam rifle, and you get two clear blue uh, beam saber blades. Now as far as stuff you get with the kit, you obviously get a Master Grade Delta Gundam. It comes with a shield, you get a uh, beam rifle, which is the same beam rifle that came with the Master Grade Delta, uh, Master Grade Rezel. Sorry, I made that same mistake in the uh, unboxing video. You get two beam saber handles that actually go into the uh, shield, like so. You already saw the beam saber blades. You also get two extra ammo packs for the uh, beam rifle, so that's a total of three. You get three small figures. There's a figure that goes inside the cockpit, and you get a tiny figure of Riddy Marcinus and uh, Mineva Zabi, a.k.a. Um, what's her name? Audrey Byrne. You get an action base connector, and you get these two support parts that will help keep the uh, Wave Rider mode nice and stable, which we'll go over those more when we do the transformation. You get a manual, of course, which you probably saw in the unboxing, and last but not least, we get a sheet of clear stickers. You can see a lot of numbers on there, Londo Bell, and a few marking uh, decals down here at the bottom. You get a sheet of dry transfer decals, Nehal Argama, Delta symbol, and the rest is all white marking decals and a very very small sheet of foil stickers. You get two different options for the eyes. You can do the normal stickers like they usually give us or you can just put a silver part up under the uh, clear part for the eyes and uh, paint them I guess clear red yourself if you really wanted to. And you get two light blue stickers for the uh, cameras that go on the head. So that about does it uh, for all the stuff you get in the box. And, uh, you know, for this guy, I think I'm actually going to paint him before doing articulation. Alright, so coming back about a week later, this is uh, my paint job. And as you can see, I've gone with basically the same colors, just uh, with the grays. I did kind of a black pattern with a light gray and a dark gray. And the blue and white and dark gray on the lower torso I left pretty much the same and I think it turned out uh, pretty good this dark gray on the block pattern is a little bit darker than I would have liked and the blue is a little bit brighter than I would have liked but other than that I think it turned out pretty nicely uh, I used the decals that came with the kit and put them pretty much in their standard places I did make one exception with the decals though uh, this little delta symbol right here was supposed to go on the back skirt, but uh, I decided to put it on the shield instead. I just thought it would look a little bit nicer there. So just a quick turnaround for the paint job. Also, I used a uh, steel colored paint for the inner frame, so I got a nice metallic color for all the joints and everything. So let's go ahead and start with articulation. All right, the head is on a double joint. You've got a ball joint at the base of the neck, which is going to give you side to side and up and down and rotation. Uh, yeah, it'll probably go 360. And then you've got a uh, hinge at the base of the neck, which will give you even more forward and back movement. 
The shoulders, uh, I'm not really a fan of, just because of the way they're designed for the transformation. They're kind of uh, fragile. Uh, you've got a peg that'll let them go 360, and you've got a little bit of forward and back movement, but I find that these shoulder joints pop off really easily uh, on the hinge that's there for the transformation. Uh, and really, that's my only real complaint about the articulation of this kit. Uh, this little thingy right here can go up and down. The arms can come out, but only about that far, just because of this uh, thing right here that gets in the way. You've got 360 below the shoulder. You've got a double jointed elbow, which is going to bend about that far, almost a full 180. And then you've got uh, basically the same hands that they used on Master Grade Unicorn and Riesel and several other more recent Master Grades. Each finger's on a ball joint, but the last three fingers are connected together. So yeah, and a little hinge at the uh, wrist that'll go up and down, and of course the wrist is connected with a ball joint. And this shoulder already feels like it's about to pop off. Anyway, uh, there's no movement inside the torso simply because of the transformation, but you do get a ball joint at the waist, which gives you a little bit of forward and back, not much, some side to side, and rotation is kind of limited just because of the mobile suit's design. Now, one feature that I always seem to forget on Master Grades is the cockpit hatch. It's right here, and it's actually kind of tricky to get open because there's nothing to really grab onto to open it. So I'm just going to use my hobby knife, and it just opens up like that, and you've got a little pilot seat with our uh, Reedy Marcinus down inside there. Let me move these arms up. We can do the skirt armor. The front skirts are actually on a double ball joint. You've got a ball joint right here and then another one right here. So you've got lots of nice uh, mobility. Plus, it, they're small front skirts anyway, so they're not really going to get in the way much. The side skirts are on a ball joint that I can wiggle and rotate. The back skirt is on a just a, like a hinge, so they move together and can just go up and down. Hips are on ball joints that can go forward and back, of course, and in and out. They go out about that far. You get a double joint for the knees, so you're going to get pretty much a full 180. And one of the issues with this knee armor is that it really likes to pop out. It's just connected with a poly cap. There we go, that's what it's supposed to do, but let me show you. See, it's just a peg that goes into a little thin poly cap right there. That's going to pop out a lot, so as long as you just like hold it in place while you're bending the knee, it should be fine. Let's see, you've got some movement in the ankle area. You've got a, like a little piston right here. When you move the ankle, that piston is going to be able to go up and down. And it's actually, you've got movement at the top of the piston and the bottom. The top of the piston has a little mechanism that moves this uh, flap on the back of the leg. It doesn't move very, very much, but it does move. And then the ankle armor can go up and down, and the feet can go down and up a bit. And the actual ankle is on a ball joint, so you've got side to side, and you're not going to get 360 by any means just because of the, the uh, design. But you've got forward and back and up and down, and pretty much anything you need to keep him planted firmly on the ground. Delta Plus does have some minor balance issues. Uh, it, it, it kind of reminds me of Master Grade XEO where the ankles uh, just make him kind of hard to balance. Uh, I actually blame the fact that his heel has so much, has so little surface area, plus he's got these wings back here. He kind of tends to lean backwards a bit, but as long as you just, you know, situate him right and get his feet flat on the ground, he should stand up just fine. Uh, the last bit of articulation is these wings in the back. Let's see, we've got uh, actually several joints. One, two, three, four different joints for these wings connected to the torso. Uh, you've got, you know, side to side movement like this. And then you've got some forward and back here and a little bit of rotation here. And a little bit of in and out there. So uh, pretty much anywhere you want to move these wings that are going to be able to go. And then you've got a small wing that comes out up here. That's really more for the transformation. And then these wings down here can 
go that far up and down. And that about does it for Delta Plus's transformation. Or transformation, what am I talking about? Articulation, I'm sorry. And before we end part one, here's just a quick look at Delta Plus's inner frame. And uh, this has all been painted, so originally straight out of the box, pretty much all of this is going to be gray. And uh, it's got a complete inner frame, so uh, I've always said that as long as a kit, uh, well, Master Grade anyway, as long as a Master Grade has a full inner frame, I'm happy. Um, a lot of people have commented on the lack of detail on Delta Plus's inner frame, but it really doesn't bother me because I'm not going to be displaying it without the armor anyway. Uh, let's see, I do think it's nice that even the shield has an inner frame to it, so that was a nice touch. And, very similar to the Gundam Wing EW Master Grades that have come out recently, uh, they've put this kind of light piping feature for the uh, camera on the top of the head, as you can see. That was a clear piece, but I painted it clear blue. And they did something kind of strange for the eyes. They uh, had, it's like they have a sticker for the eyes that you can put up under the clear piece, and then they uh, molded the eye shapes up under on the underside of the clear part rather than the outside like normal and just kinda odd I don't know, I'd, I'd, at least I've never seen that done before they may have done it on other Master Grades but uh, I'd never seen it before but uh, since it would have been a pain in the butt to try and paint all that on the under, underside of it I just went ahead and used the sticker for the eyes so anyway that's the inner frame and that does it for part one, so make sure to come back for part two. We'll go over the weapons and accessories and the transformation. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.